While reporting on the successes, the ministerial report indicates numerous challenges still facing the ministry in protecting timber. This includes transport limitations, staff shortages, ineffective permit systems, open transit tracks that allow en route tempering, difficulties in quantifying timber volumes, and some tree species not being listed on CITES. Namibia has been identified as a major channel for both illegal and legal timber consignments from Zambia, DRC, and Angola to China via Valves Bay. Other challenges include identifying the origin of species and limited knowledge of producers' import and export profiles. To address this, the ministry last year undertook a review of forestry legislation and regulations presenting a first step towards strengthening plant laws. Numerous capacity building events were further held while MOUs have been signed between the ministry, law enforcement and other key stakeholders towards combating plant crime. At the same time, a state-of-the-art species identification lab is being developed with the assistance of international partners, while the verification of CITES permits for in-transit timber is also in place. The ministry seized over 4,000 live plants. The sampled plants all carry protected status in Namibia, though few are listed by CITES. And despite clear permit requirements within Namibia for propagating, harvesting, transporting, and exporting protected plants, a key hindrance remains a lack of such extensive legally binding controls beyond the country's borders. 22 people were arrested for being in possession of timber and life plants, with two convictions. Jelena Fuka, NBC News, Vantuk.